What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Today's video is the episode number two of the full week of trainings and workouts video series. And today's workout, I'm gonna show you my workout for back, rear belts and traps. In this video, I'm gonna show you the exercise that I'm doing in this routine, in this workout speed, and also a lot of different tips in each exercise. So let's start. So I like this workout speed because it allows me to repeat each body part twice a week. Like for example, today we are doing back, rear delts and traps. Uh, the first workout is chest and shoulders. And then another day is gonna be legs. So we have three days and we can repeat in the week again the same workout, the same body part. So you can repeat each body part twice a week. In this video of today, I'm gonna show you the exercise and the structure that I follow in the workout, but you can see the same exercise, similar exercise in the other video that I did in Spanish. So you can check that you can do, uh, because you are doing twice a week this workout, you can choose different exercise in each day of the week. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do, but you can change a bit the exercises if it's the same movement. So I'm gonna start the workout with this exercise for warm up and also get a muscle mind connection. So we're gonna do this cable row and I'm gonna try to squeeze really good in each rep and stretch. In that way, I'm gonna start, you know, making connection of, you know, of the muscles of the back. And that's the most important, to feel how you work your muscles in the back training, because sometimes we just focus on move heavy weights and we don't use, we don't use the muscle back. We use the biceps, the forearms, the arms. So with this exercise, I focus on that and I play exhaust the back. So I'm gonna do like three, four sets of 20 reps in this uh, exercise and then we're gonna start the workout. So guys, first exercise, we're gonna do reverse grip pull downs. We're gonna do five sets, and in each set, we're gonna increase the weight. So we're gonna start with high reps, like 15, 12, and then we're gonna try to get eight, six reps, because we're gonna go heavy. Very important is to keep the control of the movement and squeeze. Even if it's heavy, we need to squeeze as much as we can, and then go and stretch uh, to feel the muscle, you know, to feel the lats, you know, uh, going full of blood. And I'm gonna take this grip because with this grip we can focus more on the lat, the, the full lat, you know, the, all the lat. Because when we take the normal grip, I feel that we work more just the superscapula. Uh, with this grip, I think for me the feeling is much better, it's more complete, and overall for back development is better. <laughs> like training speed I did barbell row a standing barbell row today we're gonna do it here in the machine in the t-bar row but again I'm gonna take the grip over the barbell like palm face up in that way we can close a bit more the elbows and in that, in that way we're gonna squeeze more the lats and when we take this grip I feel that we can focus more in the middle lat in the middle area of the back also in the upper in the upper part of the back but the difference for me the difference is when I take this grip I can work more in the lower part when I take the overhand uh, grip I work more you know the traps and the upper back so today I want to keep following the same structure so we're gonna do again five sets we're gonna go up with the weight in each set until we can get uh, eight six reps so heavy ones and we work 
the rows and we work the density and the middle part of the back. So let's go. in the last set I did the technique of drop set so in this last set with a heavy weight I did six reps I get the failure I removed one plate and I did again six reps I removed another weight and I keep going like that I drop it three times the weight so this is a high intensity technique and it helps a lot to get the failure to the maximum and also to you know to put all the blood in the muscle you know and to do a great work don't forget to squeeze in each rep during all the reps in all the sets of the exercise and stretch your lats. The most important in the back is to feel the contraction of the muscles more than the weight. You know, it's better to feel that you are working the lats on the back and all the muscles than move too much weight. So let's move to the exercise number three. We're gonna do row, one single arm row. In the same workout in the other day, I did the row in the cable one arm, one single arm cable row. It's a great exercise because the cable allows you to keep the tension full movement. Today we are doing in this machine that you also can do like a dumbbell row. It's the same movement, really similar exercises, but I'm gonna change today to give another kind of stress and also because it's a different style, uh, but we target the same muscles. So in this exercise, we're gonna feel that we work a lot the lats, and again, really important to keep the control in all the movement. We're gonna do again five sets between 15 and eight reps. Let's go. So let's move to the exercise number four for the back and the lats. We're going to a basic exercise that is the pull down again, but this time we're gonna take a wide grip and I'm gonna take the grip like the hammer, the neutral grip, because it's a bit different. It allows me to squeeze a bit more all the lats because the way it goes down, I really like it. But again, it's to change because in the other workout, as you can see, I take the normal grip in the barbell. So both are good. But these little changes in the same structure workout are really good to stress out the muscle and make it grow. So let's do four sets this time between 15 and 10 reps. Really important to control the movement again and squeeze, squeeze, you know, to feel the muscle, the muscle contraction and feel the middle back and the lats working. So after this four sets, we will move to the rear delt and then we will finish with some exercise for the traps. So let's finish for let's finish with the back. Let's go.
Again, this exercise, we choose exercise for the wideness of the back and also the density. So that's why rows, pull downs, everything mixed, makes a complete workout where, where we're gonna work all the different angles and different parts of the back. So really compete and that's why. Four exercise, intense exercise for destroy the back. So now we're gonna move to the rear delt muscle exercises. So we're gonna do exercises more for people on that muscle. So this is the exercise number five. We're gonna do cable rows with the rope focused on the rear delt. So like you can see, I'm gonna stretch my arms. I'm gonna squeeze to the top, you know, of the top of my head. Also with the thumbs looking back. And we're gonna focus on squeeze our shoulders and our traps. Okay, it's gonna be a mixture exercise for the rear delts and the traps. But we're gonna, we're gonna think and we're gonna try to make the muscle connection with the rear delts. Then we're gonna do one exercise more for isolation of the rear delts. So this one is a compound movement. And we're gonna do four sets between 15 and 10 reps for this exercise. Let's go. the first exercise we're going to move to the second exercise for rear delts is the exercise number six of the workout and we're gonna do rear delts in the incline bench uh, we're gonna do with rows we're gonna do rear delt braces okay i'm gonna show you how i do uh, because it's a lot of ways to do the rear delt braces but the most important is to take a weight that you can squeeze your rear delt. You can focus on do the movement with your arms without, without you know, too much momentum or to move too much your body. Just feeling that is your rear delt part of the shoulder that is the one that is raising the arms. So I'm gonna start with just you know 5 kg to show you how I do the movement, how I like to do my movement, and then from there I will go up with the weight. Again, we're gonna do four sets of 15 to 10 reps, uh, high reps because in this exercise the rear delt is a small muscle. The most important is to focus and you know to squeeze it and to feel that you are making that muscle uh, full of blood. So first thing, we're gonna try to do the movement without move, you know, the forearms, without move the elbows, just moving the full arm and then. How you take the grip, how you take the dumbbells, it's up to you. You can take it like that, or you can take it like that. It's about how you feel better that you can squeeze the shoulders, because some people will squeeze better this way, or we have more mobility if you take like that, like that. So for me, I normally I change the grip. Sometimes I do like that, sometimes I do like that. Um, it's up to you how you feel the best your muscle. So I'm gonna show you how I do the movement. I'm gonna try to do 15 reps with this weight. For me, the most important is that you can squeeze. Sometimes, if you go too high, you can squeeze. It's about construction, muscle mind connection with that muscle because it's really small and to feel it. So, I'm gonna do the last exercise. For the last exercise, I'm gonna do a different exercise. It's a mixture between a partial deadlift and strokes with barbell for the traps. In this way, we're gonna work the lower back, the middle back, and the upper back. It's gonna be like a superset uh, because we're gonna do six reps of partial deadlift with non-stop. We're gonna do six reps 
of roots for traps and then we keep going with the partial reps for the lift six reps and six last reps for a stroke. We're gonna do three sets of this exercise. As you know, as you count, it's more than 20 reps per set, um, and it's gonna be a good way to finish. We're gonna try to put some weight, you know, one plate each side, two plates each side, but it's not gonna be like a, you know, a power lifting deadlift. It's more about focus and squeeze on the back, the traps, and you know, I get a good pump overall the last pump in the back. So with this exercise, we finish. So give all in this last exercise. come to the gym with a lot of energy because it's long and it's very demanding but it's really good workout and as I said at the beginning this split in the week allows you to put a frequency two in each body part in the week so it's good because when you go up with the frequency you can you know you can improve a lot even if you are not repeating all the body parts you can repeat just the body parts that are the weak points for you so let's say if your back is your uh, weak point you can do with this split twice a week back or twice a week chest or whatever you want but i i advise you i recommend you to try this workout split because you're gonna have good feelings but you must to eat well follow the diet because if not this is gonna be a really demanding workout and you're gonna be so tired at the end of the workout as i am now and so yeah Hope you like it. If you like it, give a thumbs up, give a like to the video, share with your friends to try this workout and see you in the next chapter of this full week of workouts. See you in the next one and remember, be legend.